Okay, so this is in response to a question I got from someone this morning, a wonderful woman that I really um, have gotten to know the last couple months, and she has been following me. And she contacted me today, and she's having a crash and burn kind of day, just a slash and burn, I think she called it. Uh, she is fed up, and so I wanted to respond to her, and I'm going to do it in my Karen Blunt way. Um, and hopefully some of the others of you are listening and it will help you because I know you're in the same situation. It's not your fault you're in this situation. This is the situation you're in and I'm going to help uh, kind of shed some light on it, okay? So this particular person has um, a husband, um, a functioning alcoholic, I'd say. I don't know how much functioning you can do, but still moving around. And uh, they've recently been apart. I think they've been apart for three to six months. He's got a new gal. She's 20 years younger. And uh, he's, of course, having a great time. And uh, she is not happy about it. <laughs> now, this is what I got to tell you. First thing, uh, you are going to be so happy. You are going to be so happy. You're stuck in it right now and you don't see. But thank God this guy is out of your house, okay? The reason he's got someone new is because he needs a partner in crime. And of course he's gonna find someone 20 years or 30 years younger than him because she doesn't know any better, right? This poor thing, either she's just like him and she's a drinker too and whatever, then they got their own big mess to deal with or she's enabling him and putting up with it because she doesn't know any better. Poor thing, really. Um, she has no idea what she's doing. She thinks she's in love and she's not. She's in some kind of enabling thing. Most likely her, maybe her father was an alcoholic or someone in their family and she's used to taking care of people just like you are, but she's younger, right? So, uh, you can't blame her, not her fault. In fact, we should feel, be praying for her. Um, and of course he's going to find someone like that. That's just what we do. Alcoholics and acts are like that. This isn't a bashing about men. This is a this is a conversation about how alcoholics and addicts act, how we behave, how we manage our lives. How can we drink and use for so long before the wheels fall off, right? This is how we do it. We find someone else. We get somebody else uh, to co-sign our bullshit and uh, usually lesser companions because then we feel better about ourselves. It's not brain surgery. Now, the fact that he's out of your house, yay. I know you think you still love him. You don't. You love the idea of him. You love the idea of what could have been, right? You love maybe what you had at one time. It's over. That's gone, okay? Even if he gets sober now and you get back together, it'll be an entirely new relationship. The relationship you had is done. He is now with someone else. Thank God. Okay, if you have, if anything yesterday, if anything that happened yesterday with that tragedy in Calamesa, if this doesn't prove it, I don't know what does. I'm saying this to myself too. If money could fix it, it's not a problem. Okay, if money can fix it, it's not a problem. What you have is an uncomfortable situation. Now, how uncomfortable is the situation? You guys still have a joint bank account. Why? Why? He's been gone for three months. You have a joint bank account and you're working and you're paying all the bills. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Um, can he not pay his own bills? Is it because you have the house? Well, if you have the house and you're paying for the house mortgage and the bills, well then that's fine. He needs to have his own account, okay? If you need to give him an allowance, then give him an allowance until this is done with attorneys. Um, there's absolutely no reason you should be supporting him and his girl, none. If you're paying all the bills and you're paying the credit cards, fine. He can get his own account and if he's so functioning, he should be working. If he's not functioning, then he needs to get a job. If he can't get a job because he's too drunk and too loaded, then he needs to get sober. See how that works? 
So you're enabling him. The reason you feel resentful is you're taking care of him and his girl. Now, that's not smart. It's not smart. If you need to, put all your money in a private account. Get a different bank account and just put the money in. Just put limited amount of money in your joint account. Whatever he needs to, whatever he's doing, right? You need to get an attorney. If you're in the middle of a divorce, you probably have an attorney. But there is absolutely no reason in the world that you should be footing up his bills because he is going to spend money like he's got it because he does. It's your money. <coughs> Feeling sorry for an alcoholic addict is not helpful. It's not. All it does is prolong the, the injury and it makes you feel bad. In your little thing that you sent to me, you said you could ruin him. Well, why don't you? Why don't you? Are there kids involved? Is it your ego? Do you want to? You want to be the good girl? You don't want to. You don't want to upset the apple cart. <coughs> you didn't upset the apple cart. He did. He's drinking and using. You're working and paying the bills. Okay. Tell him to get an attorney if he wants the house. Tell him to figure it out. Right? If you gotta have a joint account for some reason until the divorce is final, put 20 bucks in there a month. Right? Let him fuck that off. Uh, there's no reason. You don't need to be a martyr in this thing. I mean, uh, the guy's sick. The guy's sick. The only way he's gonna get well is if the pressure is on. The pressure is on. And you might not be putting pressure on him. You're walking away. You're escaping, okay? <coughs> I'm sorry, I still have a little bit of a cold. You are escaping from this. You got lucky. God got you out of there fast, right? I don't care you're married for 30 years or something. That doesn't seem fast. You're out now. Run, okay? This is his problem. This is not your problem. You don't owe him anything. You're going to Al-Anon. You take care of yourself, and you can pray for him and the girl. Good luck to both of them. But for you, you got out. You're fine. You got out. And if you don't learn the lesson from this, you're going to find somebody else to take his place. You're going to do the same thing over again. So knock off the pity party. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't give him any money. If, if, you, he's, if he has some joint account thing, give him the minimal. No judge is going to tell you to, to uh, support him and his girl while you're paying all the bills. That's all bullshit in your head. Someone put that in your head that you have to do that. You don't. Okay? So uh, this is not Slash and Burn Monday. This is rejoice that you got out alive Monday. This is thank God you're going to go on with your life and you're going to have your finances, uh, new romance. Uh, you got your whole life ahead of you. And this guy, you're going to have to hopefully, it's not going to be too tragic for him. He'll be able to pull his head out of his ass soon. Right? Get some help. Um, otherwise, what do you care? Leave him alone, right? Maybe he's happy. Maybe he just wants to live this way. Everyone deserves the right to live their way, right? But you don't have to be drug along with it. You're not a victim, okay? It's Monday. It's a beautiful day. It's a fabulous day. Money comes and goes, right? Have a good time with whoever you're at work with, whoever you're around, enjoy them just enjoy your life and thank god for the things that he's taken away from you right you might not think that you're happy about this but let's talk again a couple days a few months right you're going to be like oh karen you were right thank god if the train does not stop at your station it's not your train okay love you bye